<sighs> so, I don't yet have a tripod for my camera, so I'm constantly trying to find things to put my camera on to sit them down so that I can do a video. I'm very low plane, I don't have a couch, so this is the best I got. It's fine though. I've been reading this book, Awakening the Buddha Within, by Lama Surya Das. It's really good. I highly recommend it for anybody who's, um, who's new to it. Some other cool things to check out. Thoth. Always Thoth. <laughs> and, um, and the Mentalist Handbook, which was given to me by the woman on the cover. It's not a joke. It's really cool too. Maybe we'll get to those another time, but for now, I want to talk about a few things that I've been learning, which is kind of the, I mean, the nature of life. This is really interesting because, you know, in our modern physics and science, we think that, you know, we, we have these labels, you know, hydrogen, helium, beryllium, carbon, and we name all these little things that we're looking at through our telescope or our microscopes and our, um, with our formulas, and we're like, okay, this is this, this is this, this is this. And then we see the ones that are alive that life is intimately tethered to and we don't factor that into the equation we don't consider carbon to be alive we consider it to be an element that life sometimes manifests through and yet when you really look at it all of them are alive in different ways they're, they're conscious you remember Spirit Science 11 where you have the circle and squares where it constantly goes from you know, it starts out kind of rough, and then it gets close to phi, and then it goes away from phi, and it gets close to phi, and it goes away from phi. Well, it's continually getting closer and closer to phi. And so the, the, the element of carbon of what we see is actually just, it's a vibration, really, of this, this holographic reality that's really close to phi. And so lots and lots of life is able to manifest through, well, it, it just manifests anyways, anywhere it can. And it comes through in the shape that of the vibration that we call carbon and so everything is everything is conscious and everything works through life and I'm actually in Sedona right now I'm, <laughs> it's funny I'm in Sedona and I can't really seem to film in the mountains I'm filming in an RV <laughs> I'm taking Drunvalo's Awakening the Illuminated Heart workshop and it's absolutely amazing and one thing that he shared with us is that like, like gravity science can't understand gravity and the current model that we're working with doesn't explain gravity and yet, well, the Russians have figured out gravity, and they understand how it is a life. Everything is life. And when you, when you factor that into the equation, you can get so many answers. And so the gravitational field is an informational field that holds all things together, and you can transfer information in zero seconds when you connect things through the, through the vibration of gravity. And not only that, but you consciously can talk to gravity and you can break the gravitational field when you're so consciously in tune with what it is. And I think that makes sense to everything. Like, like this wall is mostly empty space. My hands are empty space. And so if I'm, I mean, this is something I think we're all practicing and especially as we're getting, changing the vibration is kind of what, what Jesus taught as well is that when you really understand it, you can really do anything and you can pass your hands through walls, you can levitate, you can walk on water, you can do anything. In Russia, on TV, there was a news report of a person who was walking in the woods, walking his dog, dog runs off, he starts chasing the dog, and all of a sudden he looks up, he sees a woman flying. And then as soon as he sees, as soon as he's like, hey, 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 she, she drops to the ground, runs away. In the Dreamvilla workshop, we've been talking a lot about the super psychics as well, and this is just another example. There's these two kids, both super psychics in China, and there was, the Chinese have all sorts of videos of them. They were going to release them to the world and they chose not to when, when they realized that three kids is all it takes to overpower all of the world's military. These two kids, they're brothers, they can do anything. One of them is very loving and compassionate and the other is not. They both can do absolutely everything that, that they want to. They can lift books, they can read the minds of everybody, they can look at someone, tell them everything about them. And yet, only one of them had the, had the ability to heal others. And that was the one who loved. And love, that, that heart vibration from which everything comes, is truly the vibration of healing. And so if you're striving on an, and if you're on a healing path and you, you want to heal and, or you want to help heal others, true compassion for yourself, true just allowing and existing is truly the only way to do it. Love is really the, the 
the utmost importance because you can heal. Everyone can. I think that's really amazing. There's a lot of amazing things that, things that have been happening in the last little while. But uh, I think that's the place to stop. New Spirit Science is going to be coming out soon. Um, talking all about... Well, there's a few of them, actually. The one I'm working on right now is actually with my friend Chris from Angel Academy. And, uh, and, and we're talking about Tarotia Fields and giving and compassion and love and, and kind of tying in all of these vibrations together. Because the Tarotia Field is... Well, you'll have to wait for the video. It's going to be good, so stay tuned and um, we'll talk to you later.